hey, this is Adam, sorry we got cut off there. I'm gonna go right back to where I was, just gonna make this part two. Um, apparently I was limited for time on how long the video could be with the recording software I'm using. So let's just jump right back in, how to find and apply the, for the right projects in Upwork. Um, so I was here and I was talking about um, really how, what you wanna make sure you do is, I, I try to make the proposal as much about them, using their words, using words like we and work together and you more than I, okay? So if you find yourself like starting every paragraph with I'm a Facebook expert that does blah, 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 or you know, it's just very common and natural sometimes for people to, to start with I, right? So just make it more about them. Use words like we, you, work together, that kind of thing, all right? And avoid I's if you can. So then I always just end with a signature, you know, something like best regards, my name, okay? So let's go back here and let's just cover these main cover letter tips again, okay? So when you're creating these cover letters, first thing is read the job description very carefully and notice the words that the client is using to describe their needs and write them down. And that will, and then use those words when you're, when you're talking about how you're gonna help them and deliver the solution for them, do so using the words that they use, okay? Because that's what they're gonna relate to. Uh, grab attention with your first couple lines as much as possible. Relate to them in those first lines with whatever their need is, right? Um, just grab their attention. Don't do the whole blah, you know, I just came across your posting and I think I'm a great fit. Like, talk to them as if you're standing in front of them and you understand what their pain is and just kind of speak to that, how you're going to help them solve that problem. Use those first lines wisely. Um, focus on describing what you can do for them in terms of the results that they are looking for. Again, this goes back to the language they're using. They're gonna tell you in their job description what they're looking for. So focus on when you describe your service, how you're gonna help them get those results. Um, you can share their, you know, of course, most of these people are gonna wanna see like, you know, proof of that you can deliver the solution they're looking for. So. I always, you know, I'll share one. If I know it's a really impactful and relevant example, I'll just ref I'll just use one because they're probably going through a lot of proposals and I just want to give them impact, right? So I'll usually just, like in that example, I just shared the one example of how I helped the lady generate 50 leads in a single campaign from only $4, right? Use words like we and work together and you actually. Use also a good one. How you're going to help, how I'm going to help you, right? Instead of I and let them know at the end that you are available for an interview and how they can reach you, okay? Um, so now what I wanna cover lastly is just my daily routine, okay? So what I do on a daily basis is I search out the jobs on Upwork by keyword, like I showed you, and I usually uncheck um, entry level, but that's not necessarily what you need to do, okay? If you're just getting started out, I would be looking at probably all the jobs and filtering from there, okay? So then I filter out the good jobs and I just open them in a new window or a new tab, okay? And then I go to each, I read the job description more carefully and then I send out three proposals and I make sure my, kill, my cover letter is killer, okay? And applies all those tips that I was just sharing with you. And I do this, I send out three proposals a day. Now, if you guys are just getting started trying to get your first clients, you know, allocate more time. What I like about this approach is it generally only takes me about 30 minutes, okay? So um, I send out the three proposals and actually I should show you that then. So after I've, I've filled this out, I just click on sub submit proposal. I've proofread this. I always do that too. Make sure you proofread, make sure there are no mistakes and then submit the proposal. You'll see now that it's submitted and what's gonna happen is they'll get all these proposals. And generally for most of these jobs, there's gonna be a lot of proposals. That's why, you know, what I've shared with you in terms of, um, you know, these cover letter tips, make sure you really do what you can. This is where you're going to, you're gonna grab people's attention and stand out. So apply these tips that I'm giving you so that you are standing out in your cover letter. You're not just, I mean, think about it even when you send in resumes and people get these stacks of resumes, right? They all look the same. With your cover letter, this is your opportunity to stand out, grab their attention. And so applying what I'm sharing with you, this is exactly what I do, guys. I don't take you know, hours to write these things. I just apply some very basic principles. And what's happened is I get a steady flow of follow-up that way, okay? 
And that's really what your first goal is, just getting people to choose you for an interview, all right? And uh, I find that most of the time, in in the cases where I get requests for the interview, I'm usually the top candidate because of what I've done here, right? And then and then from that point, when I get on the phone, it's just about you know just establishing that rapport. They're calling you if they're reaching out to you for an interview. I mean, what I found is most of these people just want to get someone hired. So if they can get in a hold of you and and you can get on the phone with them, you can pretty much. I mean, my my close rate from that point is almost a hundred percent. I mean, I've just about everyone that I've had the opportunity to talk to from using this method, I have ended up working with. Um, so that is all there is to it. So again, if you have any questions, make sure you go into the Facebook group. This is where the discussions are going to happen. So please go into that group. If you notice in the top right, it says join the Facebook community. Go in there, add yourself to the community, introduce yourself, and then feel free to ask any questions. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.